Space Chronicles in partnership with the European Space Agency. He doesn't see me, but I, I see him. Video games. Antenna. Racing cars. GPS antenna on top of the car. High-tech clothing. Which have integrated sensors. Okay. But what is the connection? Signals from the satellites. The common factor is space. More precisely, space technologies which have been brought down to Earth. Just putting something to protect a bit the core. These technologies which have been tried and tested in extreme conditions are the driving force behind the development of innovative applications. Find the right equation and watch it benefit the man or woman on the street. But also keeps the fireman cool inside. And he doesn't take me into account. And that's done here at ESTEC, the European Space Agency's research centre in the Netherlands. It's also the headquarters of an organisation called the European Space Incubator, which is basically the link between space and Earth, nurturing ideas, helping them hatch from prototype to the final consumer product. If you see astronauts, and they go outside of the station, they're packed in their life suits, which is a lot of technology, it's a life system by itself. There is a disease called sudden child death syndrome, and what we want to do is transfer this know-how in a baby pyjama. So what you see nowadays here, it's a normal pyjama, but maybe in some couple of months, and we are supporting companies in that, you will buy a baby pyjama which have integrated sensors, and this should monitor the heartbeat and also the temperature of the baby, and hopefully helps to avoid these, these deaths of children. This is another good example of space technology applied to normal application. Protecting something against heat or cold is one of our issues. So we have transferred this know-how to, to a jacket, we call the aerogel jacket, which is quite thin, but it really protects the people uh, against cold. Normally it has three, four times thicker. So maybe it's not really my size, but it's, it's nice dressing and uh, it really helps to protect the human being. I brought you another example, uh, which comes from the same region of spacesuits. And this jacket will help the fireman protect uh, against fire on the one side, but also keeps him pretty cool. One of our shareholders uh, was watching TV on a Sunday afternoon uh, and he was looking at the Formula One and his son was at the same time playing on the PlayStation a race game and he thought if we can combine this that would be of course really great because then he can play behind his computer against the real time, uh, real time against the professional drivers. This project, put forward by a small video game software company, meets all the criteria set by the European Space Incubator, which then makes available a work area at ESTEC and the relevant expertise of technicians and engineers. Uh, the GMSS uh, antenna uh, picks up the signal from the satellite, goes to that uh, box over there. It contains uh, at this point a uh, GMSS receiver and uh, a PC unit. The data there is getting uh, compromised. It goes to uh, an antenna on the rooftop of the tower over there and it goes to our server in there. <laughs> We receive the latitude and the longitude, the position of the car on the track and we also have special equipment which measures the acceleration of the car. Other parameters from the real racing cars are then processed in real time for best effect, putting the virtual competitor almost on an equal footing. While the race is going on, you're actually inserted into the game world in some way and you can drive against your favorite drivers. Of course, we are as close to reality as possible, but when we collide, a collision will have to be simulated. And in that case, um, the, the actual driver is not really parallel anymore to the, in, to the real world. So, high-tech clothing and video games ever closer to reality are just a couple of examples where space and Earth come together. This company, they were coming to us because they uh, we are good in, in our uh, programming job, but we have no clue about positioning data. So could you help us? And this is what we do. We, we provide knowledge and services. 
A lot of uh, countries in Europe, they, they uh, have a shore, and we know with the rising sea level, so dikes is always a problem. Prevention by observation. It's a field where space technology and the lessons learned in space have a big role to play. One small Dutch firm came up with the idea of monitoring the thousands of kilometers of seawall which protects the Netherlands, checking for leaks. So this company was using a radar technology which was originally developed for MIR and also ISS and for satellites. Taking this radar technology, coming to us, we helped them to make it small, we packed it in the airplane and they're flying over the dikes. Aerial monitoring has three big advantages. Radar's precision allows humidity measurements on the ground to be made with unusual accuracy and reliability. Second, large surface areas can be covered with each flying mission. And finally, the data can be recovered and processed quickly. Obviously all this needs money, and that's another area where the European Space Incubator can help. We have also small companies our wiring, which coming out of incubation, not only our incubation, but if they have a space-related uh, application or project, to use our investment uh, forum where we invite the 20 best companies and we present them together to the financial community. So we try to, as I told you with parents, we, we try that they can grow, we bring A and B together, we bring the company with the financial source together. There are those who say the only thing to come out of space exploration is Velcro. A joke may be, and not strictly true, because progress in developing scientific applications into everyday life has moved on in leaps and bounds. What we figured out, there's no limit. Yeah, you, you, craziness is not nothing bad. That's something excellent. You know, you should always uh, go for for the highest ceiling uh, you can reach. Uh, and even if you uh, don't think that is reachable, uh, think the unthinkable. And why not think the unthinkable? As long as organizations like the European Space Incubator are ready to encourage innovators' projects and nurture small and medium-sized companies that have the drive to make their ideas real. Is it okay?